What are you doing? We're too old for hide and seek. Who says we're playing hide and seek? You'll see. Please, just tell me. You blindfolded me, then you put me in your car, and you take me to who knows where? Just tell me where I am. How about I do something and I show you instead? Great. Just the BMB. You know, I just did whatever I could and made it as nice as I could in the little time I had. You did all this for me? No, for the other girl. <laughs> of course it's for you. So what do you think? I think it's perfect. It's just perfect. That's just the way I wanted it. Nothing less for the start of our life together. And I know, I know you're still legally married to Fox, but that's a minor technicality because he's not going to come between us again listen I know that that I'm not bringing in a lot of money right now but I decided to start a small savings account before I was arrested and now that I'm going back to work I don't think it'll be long before we can put a down payment on this little house. Mm -hmm. That's always been my dream. <laughs> no, it's not going to be a mansion, okay? It's going to be small. Probably smaller than the crane living room. But the important thing is, is it's going to be ours. Do you think we can have a little yard for Maria? Yeah, yeah, of course we can. You know, I was actually thinking I could build her a small swing set. <laughs> It'd be beautiful. She'll love that. I can't believe how close I came to losing you. Don't think about it. How can I not think of that? <sighs> how can I have let myself be fooled by Fox? I feel like such an idiot when you told me Fox was faking his illness and I didn't believe you? Well, don't feel bad because you believed it. Okay, I mean, I understand that you couldn't imagine anyone stooped that low. I mean, to fake that he was dying just to get you to marry him? You know, talk about being desperate. Yeah, well, I wouldn't blame you if you hated me. Look, stop it, okay? Everyone believed Fox. Everyone butt into that stupid scam of his. Yeah, I know, but I wouldn't be so mad at myself if this wasn't the first time I didn't trust you. Okay. No, let me get this out. When you told me you didn't sleep with Charity and I didn't believe you. I'm sorry. I will never doubt you again. Do you promise? I promise. Well then, I guess now's as good a time as any. Kay Bennett, will you do me the honor of becoming my wife? Mm. You know I will. As soon as I can legally end my marriage to Fox, it won't take long. Honey, we waited long enough. Let's just do this tonight. You know we can. Okay, we can't do it in a church or, or legally, but we can do it in the eyes of God if you want to. I do. Okay, good. Because I look just the justice of the peace. Wait, wait. No buts, no buts. Forget about it. Okay, he's he's already here. You know, I told him he did not have to get all dressed up because it wasn't a formal affair, but he insisted. You're crazy. Thank you so much for coming on such short notice. I'd like you to meet my bride to be. <laughs> what? He says you're an angel, and that I'm a lucky son of a gun. So, you ready to get married? Very ready. For rich or poor, in sickness and in health, come hell or high water. Hey, that's not part of a normal wedding ceremony. Since when has anything of our relationship been normal? Uh, can we wrap it up? I'd like to start my honeymoon. <laughs> I, Miguel Lopez Fitzgerald, promise to be the best husband I can. I don't know how I will ever become the man you deserve, but I promise I will spend the rest of my life trying. 
and I, Kate Bennett, <laughs> thank you, God, for giving me another chance with this man that I loved since I was a little girl. And I learned a lot by making a lot of mistakes. And I do mean a lot of mistakes. But now I know what love really is. And I thank you for Miguel. And I thank you for the beautiful daughter that he's given me. And I thank you for giving us the chance to be the family we always wanted to be. I love you. Rings, rings. Rings, rings. I, I, um, don't have one to give you. I have a better idea. If I'm marrying you in my heart, I am definitely unmarrying Fox. We will have our rings on our real day. Until then, we will know how real it is in our hearts. Now I really love you. Um, aren't you forgetting something? You're right. I do. Do you? I do. <laughs> now, I can finally kiss my bride.